as soon as I arrived, I saw this girl who was there and she was wearing the same jacket as I was. <laughs> And uh, welcome back to my vlog. Um, it's been a little while again because I have been sick. Um, so that's why I wasn't vlogging last week and the week before, I think. Uh, anyway. I was in bed for like a week with this horrible flu slash cold kind of thing that I didn't think was possible to get in California because it's sunny and warm all the time. I thought there was no flu season here, but I was wrong. But now I'm good again. And um, I did a few junkets. Actually, I did one junket last week. I was supposed to do two, but one of them got cancelled, or my slot got cancelled, which was kind of really annoying. It was for Thor. Hey! Hey! We know each other! He's a friend from work! I did a junket uh, last week, though, uh, when I wasn't feeling good. There it is. Your hot shots. I just had a daughter, and I just really want to give her what I've ever had. But the funniest thing that happened on this junket, only the bray, was when, as soon as I arrived, I saw this girl who was there and she was wearing the same jacket as I was. <laughs> I was like, I just bought this jacket from Sara and I was like, oh, that's a nice, kind of colorful, it's Hollywood season, no, it's Hollywood season. It's holiday season soon and uh, I wanted to wear like some color. And then I saw this girl, I was like, oh my God, this is so funny. Anyways, Miles Teller actually noticed that we were wearing the same jacket. He's like, I was just interviewed by someone that was wearing that jacket. And I was like, yep. I just realized I have the same jacket as this other girl who was just in there. No! <laughs> no! What's that like? Do you make her take it off? Yeah. We took a picture together. Oh. Uh, only <laughs> girls would do that, by the way. But if I saw you There's wearing the same journey. jacket, I'd probably spill you something on it so you couldn't wear it. Oh, really? You wouldn't take a picture with me? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Done, yeah, you should have. She's not done Threaten her. <laughs> she's pregnant, though, so. Even better. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> So my point with this whole vlog was actually to talk about my five top tips uh, of doing a good interview. And these are actually tips that I find good uh, and that I, it's from my own experience, it might not be true for everyone else. So I just wanted to say that first. So these are my five top tips. First, for me, it's small talk. You need to start off a conversation as soon as you enter a room, otherwise it will be really awkward. I've seen a lot of journalists, they just sit down and then they, they just wait until they start counting down the minutes. And then you don't create any connection with the person sitting there. And they're just sitting there waiting. And it kind of just like separates you a little bit. So for me, it's very important to always start a conversation so that they feel that you have some kind of connection and that you're interested in them and that you see them and that you see them as as a person and not see them as like just a part of this whole kind of machinery and that you're just there to just bombard them with questions because no one likes that where did it come in from? medicine china oh my god yeah it's a hardcore uh, china china and then new york and then here yeah. fine <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right this I don't is christy from Hi. oslo yes You've been, right? Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yes. And my husband's mother's from Flam. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. wow. That's so cool. Her family, yeah. And also when you do that, you can feel what kind of mood they're in. You know, sometimes they might be interviewed by someone before you that it's not very nice or piss them off or something. And then you can just kind of loosen up the mood a little bit by just chit-chatting. Tips number two is ask specific questions always ask specific questions because if your questions are so open they can always find a way out of the question for me i always think about what i want as an answer before i ask a question and before i come up with a question like for example be specific instead of saying how do you deal with fame that's a very open very generic question instead one of my favorite things that I always say, and maybe you've heard it before, is like, I, I would say, what do you think is the biggest misconception about being famous or fame? My whole thing is I, I don't think you should be able to, you know, stalk my children. And I, I think I'm pretty reasonable for saying a grown man or woman, it's usually men that I see, laying in a bush frightening my children and screaming at them. I think that should not be okay. Ask 
So instead of asking, for example, um, why do you want to become an actor? I would ask, do you remember when you started thinking like, hey, I, I want to be an actor and that's, and you were drawn to it? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's different phases of it. I, wa I was very drawn to it as a kid. Um, for no, no high, I, not, not for any other reason that I literally had a babysitter was in a, like a school play and I saw it. It seemed really fun. Preparation is always key to everything you do in life. I think you, if you're good, if you prepared, you're gonna get something good. And always do research. What I like to do before I meet someone, I would always go to their social media and check out what they've been up to there. Because then you can also relate to them and say, hey, I saw that picture you posted, that was funny, or something, and you relate to them. And you say, hey, I follow you on Instagram, that was so good, that thing you wrote about. I was looking at your Instagram and I got so obsessed with your Instagram posts because they're so long. And the Chanel number five. Thing that and the Chanel was. number five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was that was an older thing, but that was fun. There's not enough room in this tank for all of us. Chanel number five. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Be interested. You know, uh, people notice if you're actually interested when you're asking a question to them or if you're just asking to be polite. If you actually ask in a way that they feel that you really want to know the answer to this, you personally want to know the answer to this, I think that makes people want to talk to you more. Um, instead of just saying something because your editor or whatever asked you to ask a question. And I was just wondering, how do you do it? Such a good shape, and uh, it's amazing well, to watch. I'm probably in better shape before, <laughs> but thank you for that. Listen, listen what people tell you, or listen to the person you're interviewing, because if you don't listen, then you might miss out of big things. And I also think that you know when you listen, it's much easier to follow up with another question. I think also a part of that tip would be, don't be afraid of silence. I think we all are really, really scared of silence, and me included. But sometimes when you sit there in a situation and you just wait for them because you, ha you want maybe a little bit more from the conversation, you can just sit there and wait. And then they will feel that they have to say something more about the, about the issue, about the topic, or whatever. And sometimes I would just say, really? And if you say that, then they feel also they have to say a little bit more. So instead of saying, oh, can you elaborate a little bit more? You can just sit there and wait and just go, really? I like the medium of, of, of Twitter um, because it's not, I don't, to me it doesn't seem as like uh, narcissistic. It doesn't seem like narcissistic. Being as Twitter, narcissistic oh, because as Instagram. Instagram's a picture medium and yeah. everyone's like, you know, I mean, I don't understand when people take selfies and then post it. Yeah, so those were my five top tips of uh, doing a good interview. I hope you learned something. And if you have any good tips, please let me know. I would love to hear it from you. Maybe you even noticed something that I do that I don't even know that I'm doing. And also, I have to say that I, I'm not always doing a good interview. I know that. So um, I, I think also a really good way to learn how to be better at something is to go back and watch yourself. I do that and in the beginning I hated it. I hated my voice on tape. I hated like watching myself doing things. I hated like, you know, I always found something that I wasn't happy with. So, but that's a part of it. And you just have to like let, it, let that slide and then look at the situation and think, hmm, how could I have done this differently? How could I have gotten a different outcome here? Anyways, if you're not uh, interviewing celebrities, I hope you found it interesting anyways. <laughs> And also, thank you, Emma, for editing my videos. I would recommend her. If anyone needs a video editor, she's amazing. So check her out. That's it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I also hope that I'll uh, see you around. And um, I am, of course, as always, going to try to come back next week. <laughs> we'll see. And um, next week, I am actually doing the junket for Bad Mom Christmas. I don't think I can do this sober. You guys want to get drunk at the food court? Ooh, yeah. I, I actually thought the last movie was kind of funny, so we'll see. You never know with these sequels, but um, so many helicopters today.
um, I hope you have a great week and weekend and uh, please subscribe if you haven't and uh, like and share and all that good stuff and thank you thank you thank you bye